Hey guys, it's Ariana and today I am just making this video because a lot of you guys requested it and I am basically just going to explain to you guys how to get into a K-pop fan sign in Korea. So first things first, you'll want to be leveled up on the fan cafe of the group you're trying to go to. It's not required, but it's how you get the details of the fan sign, where to buy the albums, what time the fan sign is going to be, the rules, all of that. You won't be able to see it unless you're leveled up on the fan cafe. Secondly, what I have anyway is I have the fan cafe that section where they announce the fan signs and other events i have that set for notifications on my phone that way i know immediately when a fan sign is going to be happening and or music show things like that i have it all set to get notified when they announce it so after you realize there's going to be a fan sign you can go everything like that you need to check out the fan cafe check out the posting of the fan sign you want to go and they're going to put a location for where you need to buy the album so usually where the fan signs are announced I'm gonna be using KK as an example because I'm going to their fan sign in literally about 40 minutes usually you will find the fan signs in the Tonghap Gongji section of the fan cafe so the latest KK fan sign it says right here is today at 5 p.m. and it's going to be at Hanguk Pangsong Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, you guys. It's going to be at Hankook Pansong, Kegwan, third floor. And that's why I'm going to go today to attend the fan sign, but then it also gives the details about when you can enter. The fan sign is, like, to apply for the fan sign, it's open from the 31st at 10.30 a.m. to the 2nd of September at 8, which was yesterday. You also notice that it gives, uh, right under that, it gives a location of where to go buy the album. So that where I had to go buy the albums for K and K, and it was located in a mall, specifically a uh, Lotte Mall, the third floor. And you're simply gonna buy whatever album you want when you get there. And it's really easy because usually the workers of where the fan signs being, where the fan sign albums are being sold, know that people are coming in to buy it. So you don't even need really good Korean. You just walk up and you just say the group's name. So like for Vidton, I just walked up. I was like, Vidton, they asked me how many albums and then you just go from there. So I walked up, I said, kun na kun. They started packing them up for me. Sometimes they ask you if you want the posters, they'll give you 20 posters. Lately, I've been saying no because I know I won't be able to take the posters. Uh, they say how many people they're letting in, which is Bek Myung, which is a hundred people. And that's usually the that's usually the standard for fan signs, a hundred people. And then under that, they put that they're gonna announce when the fan sign people are chosen so they announced it yesterday at 10 o'clock and then they gave a link on where to check you're trying to find this word right here and I simply look for kunakun and when I scroll down it has a list of the names they usually put an asterisk obviously to not like reveal your phone number reveal your phone name etc etc so I'm obviously number four. They usually go in order of names, starting with English names and then Korean names. So once you buy the album, they will give you a slip of paper. And the slip of paper will have your name, your name, your phone number, and your birthday. Depending on the store, they either give you uh, 20 slips of paper for each album and you have to fill out all 20. Or they'll give you one slip of paper and you just wipe the quantities. And you usually don't write the quantity yourself. The um, Whoever is selling you the album will write that for you. So here's the example. As you can see, K and K, this is the fan sign. And I bought 20. I filled in my name, my birthday, and the bottom part. Right here is my phone number. After that, there'll usually be a little box where you check if you approve or not of like that the information you put is correct. So make sure to put that you approve uh, when it's time to go to the fan sign. You need to make sure that you keep your receipt. If you get in and you lose this, you won't be able to attend the fan sign. So make sure you keep this no matter what. Keep it in a super safe spot. You'll want to maybe find a friend who can translate the exact rules of the fan sign for you. k, &K has a lot of rules of theirs and most groups do. For example, Vitan, I wasn't allowed to put a post-it note with, you know, a question. That's a popular thing where you put a post-it note with a question and they'll answer the question on the post-it note. That wasn't allowed for Vitan. However, it is allowed for k, &K. So they all have a bunch of different rules on what you can bring, what you can't bring. 
you know, things like that. Usually one of the main things they want you to do though is they want you to put a sticky with your name spelled exactly how you want the members to write it. So obviously I just put mine Ariana and then usually I write my name in Korean under it so the members could choose whether they want to write it in English or Korean. And then you just show up at the fan sign location. Uh, you usually are going to get there by train. That's the easiest way to get around in Korea, you guys, to be honest. And you're just going to show up. You usually want to show up 30 minutes earlier because that's where you're going to find your seat. Uh, you know, fan sites are going to set up their cameras and you're going to be fine. When you get there, you need to show usually your passport so i would make sure to just bring your passport with you any form of identification should work though but some groups specifically want a passport or an alien registration card so i just use my passport all the time just in case uh sometimes they may take your license from america but i would just bring your passport just to be safe after you show them your identification they're gonna make you pick a number out of a hundred not literally pick one, but you're going to pick one out of a box. And wherever, whatever number you get is where you're going to be sitting during the fan sign. So obviously like 1 through 10 is the first row and so on and so on. And that's also the order in which you go up to get your album signed. So if you're 90, you're the 90th person up. If you're 1, you're the first person to go up. For all these fan signs, you can't leave until the fan sign's over. Meaning even if you're number 1, you can't just go up, get your album, and then go. You need to stay through everybody and then usually they either perform a song afterwards or they do like a talk session a q and a something and that's usually the end of the fan sign in terms i know this was like a big question for you guys how many albums do you need to buy to make sure you get into a fan sign um it usually depends on the group and your luck uh, I don't know if you guys have been following me on Twitter at all, but I've been buying a lot of albums mostly because I've been trying to test the waters to see like what's the right number. For Vetton, I bought 20 at first, but my friend bought 10 and got in, so I was like, okay, obviously I overshot. So I bought 10 the next time I got in, I bought 10 the next time I got in. But I also uh, know of somebody that got in with only two albums. But that was probably mostly luck. It seems like for Vidton 10 is a good amount to just make sure you get in. I like to buy a little bit more to make sure I get in. Rather than buying five, you know, as a chance. Because if I don't get in, it's kind of like a wasted five copies in. And then I'll have to buy another five. When I should have just bought 10 the first time and I would have got in. So that's why I go... I don't know. That's why I kind of overshoot a little bit. Because i rather... Be sure that I'm getting in, then not get in and have all these copies of albums for no reason. Which is why I bought 20 for K and K because I heard a lot of people were going to be buying 15. Uh, for bigger groups though, I hear the number to make sure you get in is way higher, like 300, 400. That's probably what it's going to be for uh, BTS, EXO, groups like that. You have to go really high to even like truly have a large chance of getting in. But you can honestly just go and buy one album and you still have a chance, of course, because... Um, for each album you buy, that's one raffle in like the overall box. And they're obviously just going to pick 100 people. And you can't get in more than once. So if they keep picking your name, you only got in once. They're going to re-choose until they get somebody new. So yeah, you guys, I got to go and catch this k, &K fan sign. Um, look, you guys, I'm going to be giving this to my baby, Sungjun. And this because, you know, he loves Pokemon. I don't know if you guys know, but k, &K is literally my top group in all of K-pop. So... I'm like super excited right now. I didn't even think they'd be doing another fan sign for their rain promotions. So I wasn't expecting to give them to it. That I wasn't expecting to give Soonjun this until um, next comeback. I bought it back in America and literally like took it on the plane with me because I knew I was going to want to give him this. I'm excited, but yes. If you guys have any more questions, if there's anything you guys want to make, want me to make videos on or anything like that, just let me know um don't forget i am selling look at this i am selling albums <laughs> i am selling albums because i have a ton from trying to go to all these fan signs i have a ton of albums so you know hit me up on twitter if you guys want one i'm not like super tripping though because obviously uh i bought them but i am trying to get rid of some of them because it's going to be really hard to bring them back to america in a year so the less I have to bring the better so if any of you guys are interested in that with like a photo card of your choice hit me up let me know if you guys have anything else you guys want me to talk about or do a video on let me know and yeah i will see you guys in the next video i hope this was somewhat helpful if you're going to be coming to korea soon thank you guys for watching i hope i see you guys in the next video bye, -bye.